Today I'm finally gonna be making the cereal that you guys have been asking for since forever and today I finally have some time off so I can actually make it and I was gonna do the whole thing as to how I'm gonna make it and then show you guys at the end but all three of us, my two camera women, we got so excited that we actually ate it before I remembered. <laughs> That's actually so good. That's how good it is. We had uh, chocolate pudding and chocolate fudge and chocolate cake and whatever description for it. So you can imagine how fast it went by and yeah, we have very, very little left. So either way, I'm gonna be showing you this recipe for how to make this cereal and it is super good. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you enjoy it and if you want more recipes because I will create more for you because I like doing it. This is a simple way to love yourself and just put some good fuel and good good vibes and good energy into your body and you'll be full for long and you'll do really well on it. So I hope you like it. First thing that you're gonna need to make this cereal is about two thirds of a banana, a ripe one that has speckles. Two eggs, about half a cup of pecans and about half a cup of walnuts and one big tablespoon of almond butter. You're gonna need some raw cacao powder, nutmeg, cinnamon, cayenne, and ginger. You wanna invest in a food processor, and they're really cheap. I think this was 10 or $15 at CVS or something. Super cheap. And you wanna add your nuts and all the spices. At this point, it's really just a matter of how much you prefer. And I would say cinnamon, you guys know that I absolutely love cinnamon, so I always go crazy with that. I just can't get enough. <laughs> Ginger, hate it or love it, but I love it. So a little bit of that. And cayenne, I would say don't go overboard with that. This is not a recipe that you want spicy. I am half Thai, but you know, not too much in this one. I love cacao, and the more chocolatey you want it, the more you just put in but I use about two heaping teaspoons, like that. Now you wanna just keep blending this till it's really fine. Some people like it chunky, but I'm gonna show you how I make it the way that I like it best. Now when you have a consistency that looks something like this, that's pretty good. The Probably the bigger it is, this um, chopper thing, the bigger it is, the easier it is to get, in, to get fine. Um, this one, if you fill it up too much, it's not that easy. So once you have your nuts grinded up finely like that, you want to take your banana and mash it. And I'm going to use about two-thirds of this because this one is just a little bit too much. And as I said, put it in the freezer and you can use it for your smoothies and whatever. Frozen bananas just never goes to waste. Once that's done, you want to crack your eggs in there. The yolk is so nice and yellow and it's just super delicious. Whisk it in there. And add your nuts. Now you want to add a spoonful of uh, almond butter and once again it's a matter of preference but uh, maybe a little more than that. and then just stir it together. Now, if you have all these ingredients in the house, it's really simple to make every morning if you want it. Now, if it's a little thick, you can actually add a little splash of almond milk. I always get vanilla flavor, it's just so much better. Just a little splash. Turn on your stove and find a good size pot. Now, this is where this tool comes in handy. And th this just looks like something I could just eat. This look, looks like you're making a chocolate cake, basically. But you're not. Pour the entire thing in your pot. And now for the important part. You have to keep scraping, scraping the bottom. Turn down the heat a little bit. And you see how it starts to cook at the bottom? It gets stiff. You want to keep stirring it. This is really all about texture and how to not burn it. And it will burn so fast if you don't keep doing this. So keep scraping the bottom, keep scraping the sides so that it doesn't burn. 
and you keep doing this for a couple of minutes, whatever your stove is like, just make sure it's on medium heat and it doesn't burn. You see how it starts to thicken? You don't want it to be completely overcooked and stiff, but this is what you're going for. You can always play around with it and see what you like and we all have our preference as to how liquid or thick we want it to be, but I think this is just about right. So turn it off. Nice and thick texture. Put it in your bowl. And there is your cereal. As you can see, this is probably a size that would be good enough for me. And this is what's left. And I usually put it in the fridge and it's great to have as a snack when I just come home and I need something really fast or just even as an entire meal, but I can't eat the whole thing. I think you're gonna be surprised as to how filling this is and how much you can actually eat. Now, I actually thought I wouldn't be able to shoot this video today, so I didn't take him out, but a really good idea is to buy frozen raspberries and just let them sit out on the counter or put them in the fridge, depending on when you wanna use them, and they'll thaw out and get really nice and juicy, and they're really good to put on top of your ice cream too, just saying. <laughs> But, add some raspberries to that, add a splash of raw milk to that, or on almond milk, or hemp milk, or whatever milk it is that you prefer. And it's super simple, as I said, if you want to make this in the morning, it doesn't really take that long. Once you've made it the first time, and you know how to do it, and how much you want of each thing, then it really is super fast, and there you have it. It's like chocolate cake and pudding. Oh yeah, that's actually really... Mm. <laughs> Poor Diana's breakfast is about to be eaten. Mm -hmm. That's why we hate this.